Hi there, this is Chris and in this video we're going to look at how to change the contact form um, that is on your Quick Start website. So obviously something you're going to want to do is uh, change anything that you might be asking for, you might want to word this differently. Uh, the other thing is that if you have services you would want to change this text here. And most importantly, you would want to configure it so that your contact form sends the content of these messages to your email and not to mine or as the quick start is set up. So we need to go to the dashboard for this. So if you are on the website itself, you need to go to the top left and dashboard. Uh, but if you've just signed into your website, you'll find yourself here to begin with. On the left, we go to contact and we don't want to add a new one, we want to go to our existing contact forms. And here you can see session bookings. Now I'll just quickly show you that if we go along to your website and go to the contact form, edit with Elementor, and we're using a contact form that we want to link to. So um, if we click on the edit button, we can see if we had different contact forms uh, this is where we would select which one that is. So you can see that session bookings is the name of the contact form that we are needing to change. So if we go to edit, and this might look confusing and I understand that, uh, the quick starts all use free components and free plugins and elements. And the idea is to keep everything really affordable and cheap for you. Now this does work absolutely brilliantly although it might look a little bit confusing. Um, but if we have the cursor here and we do something like a date, uh, so we click on that and default value, um, I think we can get away with just leaving all that for the minute. And then we click save. If I go along to the website now and I refresh the page, you can see that we've added a date field here. So if the customer was to just click on something like that, you would get that value. So you might want to put a label there uh, which says something like, you know, um, uh, what, what date would you like to come? Um, and, and they would be able to, or perhaps a date of birth, and they would input that there. So anyway, let's delete that. So let's say we would like to change one of the services here. Uh, functional fitness. Um, uh, let's just call it awesome fitness for the time being. So we've made that change there. We click save. If we have a look on our website and refresh, we see awesome fitness. So essentially when a customer clicks on one of these, uh, you will have that message uh, that indicated to you a private session in the message. Now along here, we find different settings. So this is about the form itself and the setup of that. Click on, and by the way, you can get other contact form plugins that are a bit more user friendly. WP Forms is a great one, but that's one to pay for. The free version isn't as user friendly as this, I don't think. Um, I think this does well to keep costs down and remain very functional. Um, but check out WP Forms as a plugin if you'd like. But if you click on Mail, and what you'll see here is that uh, this is uh, the email that the form will post to. So you would need to replace this one with your email where you'd like to receive your form submissions. Additionally, this is what's going to show up in your subject and your from. So um, it will be posted to this email from this. Um, and then down here, you might want to change this also, but this is emailing to you. The most important thing you need to change is this email here so that it posts to the correct address. Um, take a look through here and this is essentially different messages that you can configure and additional settings uh, this is something that you you won't really need to concern yourself with just leave that there okay so that's how to configure your contact form and don't forget after you've made any changes click save and it's all ready to go okay thank you hope you found that useful I'll see you in the next video